Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after rescuing Mim Wobblegander at Talon Peak. It turned out that she was, I guess, trying to look for a nice view, and then she got eaten by spiders or something. In any case, she's safe now, and we are back here, even though I actually ended the episode outside of Talon Peak. Um, so I actually reloaded to when we were still here, and I found the last little brick thing, I think. And it turned out that I needed to actually press these in uh, sequence. So after a bit of experimenting, I figured out the sequence here. Um, I didn't actually trigger the last one though, because I w wanted to see the result of it, um, hopefully, with you guys. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the last one. It could be more. Um, but I'm hoping that there's only four. Alright, so for Brosie, why don't you start with this one? So, if you get the sequence right, you get a click, otherwise you get a thud. Uh, Valerie, number two. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry, Regon Guard, number three. Fantastic. And hopefully last one, number four? Okay, so it was only four. Fantastic. Alright, so... I guess we found a little chest. Um, I'm assuming it's just gems? Possibly? Done Heavy mace. Skull crusher. Whoa. Heavy blow. Whenever this plus two heavy mace lands a critical hit, the target needs to succeed at a fortitude saving throw, DC 17, or become stunned for 1d4 rounds. Wow. If the saving throw is successful, the target is staggered for one round instead. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, harem. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage as what you have now, but I guess we might as well put this in another slot. Sure. So, question. If I have you have this... Oh, you actually still keep your uh, original shield. Oh, fantastic. I was kind of worried about that. Or are you just keeping it on your back for funsies? I'm assuming you actually use your shield too, yes? I think so. Okay, I guess we'll see once we get into combat. So anyways, I also reorganized their inventory, or their, um, hotbars. Uh, the way that I've been organizing it, uh, buff versus offensive spells, it might not be the most efficient way of organizing things, but I figured that, um, Harem doesn't really have a lot of offensive spells, what with him being a cleric. Uh, with Octavia, I put her ray spells and also Baleful Polymorph onto this, um, bar here. Her buffs are here, those are her regular spells. I can't actually tell which ones are ray spells and which ones aren't, besides, you know, when it says ray whatever, but um, anyways. With Ragongar, I put his buffs into the his, his uh, main bar, and then he, the touch spells on the side here, and then the um, other spells over there. Sorry about the weird uh, dithering talking there. <laughs> Apologies. Alright, um, we are going to start this episode off by, you know, obviously we started things off in the Talon Peak, but we're gonna go see the Technic League encampment in, uh, in the, uh, Varnhold area. Technic League hideout. Um, I'm not sure how we get there, though. Hmm. I guess just go down this way. Oh, I think we might be able to stop there and then mosey onwards that way, hopefully. And hopefully we won't get tired along the way, knock on wood. So I think... Hmm... A little risky. Still not tired, fantastic. Alright, before we go in there, let me just quick save. A uh, nondescript hill conceals the entryway to an underground lair, the Technic League's secret base. Hmm, this could be pretty tough, depending on how well uh, Octavia and Regongar perform, that is. And I haven't really used them in a while, and I'm not entirely sure how to use them, so this might be extra tough. Uh, let me quick save again. And there appear to be flying centipedes, or levitating centipedes. I should have buffed. They're coming, guards! Everyone, here! Carrig the Cobbler! Is he a pie, or does he fix shoes? I'm assuming the latter. Don't hesitate. All right, Valerie, this didn't work. charge in. Must be doing it wrong. Uh, for Brosi, go for the other one. Regongar, everyone else, stay put for a little bit. Thank you. I wrote it like Where a to now? Sure. And Lindsay, let's have you maybe fascinate, actually. Uh, what? Sp 
What thing is she casting there? Octavia, can you maybe... Uh, I should have buffed us up. Oops, my bad. Alright, let's have you... Hmm, actually, Rigongar. Ice Storm again, maybe? Oh, that might affect uh, too much of us. Then let's have you do... Maybe walk around, and then we'll have you um, focus on the Bard. Uh, we might need to attack Tarek the Cobbler, actually. Die, so, Fabrosi, die, die. you can take the attack of opportunity and uh, just get over there, I guess. Mm, Rigongar. Okay, so we'll have you go attack the technically guard, like I said. Octavia. Let's do a nice little cloud kill. Or maybe Icy Prison. Let me try Icy Prison on uh, Carrick here. And now we're all slowed down and shit. Okay, Carrick, can you stop throwing bombs at my dudes? Thank you. Wow, that was really shitty, Octavia. Wait, did you not freeze him at all? Okay, well, that's dumb. But sure. Um, maybe Magic Missile then? Why don't you attack the one that's behind uh, them? Fantastic. And Harem, let's have you maybe... Mm, summon some of the undead. Although, I think we're actually doing quite well as it is. So, maybe we don't need to worry about that too much. Rigongar. Try to do a vampiric touch on the uh, bard, please, if you don't mind. Fantastic. Now, I'm assuming there's more to this area. Not too much, though. Okay, we seem to have triggered the other uh, group here, so oops. Can you maybe use the vampiric touch on the other one instead? And Lindsay is now just laughing on the ground. Fantastic. Alright, um, vampiric touch. You gain temporary hit points. Gotcha. And they disappear one hour later. I see. Well, I'm assuming there's more dudes there, so after we're done with these bastards, we'll converge and uh, we'll buff up. Oh, no, we got more dudes coming in hot and heavy. How fucking dare you, sir? Tavia, maybe we'll do a lightning bolt. Um, no, not whilst there's people there. Cloud kill will affect us as well. Hmm. Maybe Hurricane Bow? Sure, for Brosi. Why don't you deal with this guy, Harem? Oh, son of a bitch. Dang, nabbit. Ah, fucking hell. I'm thinking maybe we should just keep Harem on uh, crossbows or something like that. Mm. Alright. Cleric dead and that guy dead too. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Can I now please heal up? Do you guys mind if I uh, please buff up a little bit before we uh, continue onwards? Let's do a delay poison just in case. Sure, remove fear as well. Fantastic. What else? Death Ward? Hopefully we won't need to worry about that. Let's do a protection from fire. Yeah. Sure. Rosie, Bark Skin Up. Valerie, I think you're okay. Although, maybe drink a mutagen of strength. Gongar, uh, I don't think we need to do Stone Skin. No. And none of these are really long-lasting buffs. Hmm. What about you, Octavia? You got some stuff. Maybe Heroism for... Fabrosti? And Harem, you also have some buffs as well. But I think you've pretty much done everything that you need to, really. Yeah. I guess, if anything, maybe try to heal up Valerie a little bit. Uh, let's not do something too crazy here. Fear? I don't think we really need to do fear, do we? Hopefully not, at least, but we'll see. Okay, not bad, I guess. Sure. Oh. Let me see what these guys have. Masterwork Longsword, thank you. Take that garbage, take that garbage. Take your daggers. Oh, that's just a regular light crossbow? Oh, son of a bitch. He bamboozled me. What an asshole. That's just regular garbage. Masterwork longsword. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, I think we're good to uh, move on now. Alright, so... Let's go up north... Oh, excuse me. Let's go up north first. Hmm... Fabrosi? Why don't you charge towards her, if you don't mind? And Valerie, go for that one. Fantastic. Alright. There we go. 
Now we're getting things done. Great. Eat shit, sir. What? Um, hello? Can I unpause the game now? Hello? What in the world is going on? Let me unpause the game! What is happening? Am I stuck? Does the game think that I'm still in combat? Um... Can I move on with my life now, or am I gonna be stuck in combat forever? I don't understand. Guys? Guys? What the fuck? Hello? Um... Okay, I guess we have to do things in uh, turn-based mode now. Great, thanks. Unfucking believable Do not falter. Uh, okay, well, you can't attack him right now, though, can you, Valerie? No, um... Maybe go into defensive stance? And then, can I end your turn? Press space. Okay, so now we're in combat. Um... And you failed your attack of opportunity, unfortunately. Sure. I want to see if maybe we can unpause now. Nope, still can't do it. Son of a dickhole, what in the world is going on? I think the game is bugged. I may need to reload, unfortunately. Alright, otherwise, uh, Regongar, if you can maybe move over yonder. I guess you're supposed to be in Die melee range, me. so why don't you just approach the other dudes? You know what, I'm just gonna try to go through this, um... Uh, this combat in... Turn... Hold on, sorry. I think it's my keyboard. Is that... Oh, jeez. I can't seem to do anything. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, this is an unforeseen technical uh, problem, it seems. Okay. Oh, it is my keyboard. Oh, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? I do apologize. Um, obviously, I didn't intend for this to happen. <laughs> or did I? Okay, well, I seem to just need to use the, uh, stuff on the, uh, click on stuff on the menus instead. Because I can't, uh, unpause shit for whatever reason. Yeah, my keyboard's definitely gone. Um, so sorry about this. Okay. I guess we'll just continue onwards then. Sure. Got some eggs. And I'll take your potions. Thank you. But I feel like this isn't the first time this has happened in this game. I mean, I feel like uh, there are times when the um, certain keys wouldn't work for whatever reason, but it's really bizarre, I gotta say. Real, real bizarre. And now it's a lot harder to see stuff. Chocolate ice cream! Ooh, wow. Alright, sure. Oh, and of course I can't open up my fucking inventory with my... Uh, can I... I'll tab out of this or something at least. Like, come on. Fucking hell. Ah, jeez, I'm so sorry. Unbelievable. All right, the chocolate recipe thing. Um, where is it? I have a habit of uh, not reading the recipes as soon as I pick them up, so... Oh, there we go. Copy recipe, fantastic. And I'm assuming there's more stuff to be had here. Whoa, a scimitar? Oh, just a scimitar plus two. Well, it's not that special, so... Sure. We'll rejoice, but not uh, not too heavily, I guess. Nothing... Oh! Got a bag there, sure. And? Uh, for health, we're, I think we're still doing alright for the most part, so let's just move on. Oh. Where does that lead? Outside, maybe? Ah, uh, these guys have a lot of shit. Oh, there's a door there. And of course, I can't quick save, so I'm fucked. The door's locked. But I guess it can't be unlocked um, via just lock picking. Then. Gotcha. Alright, uh, sorry as I try to move my mouse around to see exactly what's going on. This is so fucking bizarre. Hmm, it might be a hardware issue, not entirely sure. Alright, for Brosi, go after the fighter. And there's a bard there, so Valerie, Stay charge in, me. if you don't mind. Thank you. 
Oh, right. Since the combat's already started, I guess she has to uh, take the time then. Gotcha. Bleed for me. Uh, sure, Regongar. Why not? I will bleed for you. For my butthole, if you know what I mean. Please don't leave us here. Okay. Can I free you? Oh, it's Maestro Janush himself. Maestro Janush uh, claps as he greets you with a contented smile. So, you've managed to track me down my messenger. Locate this place and make your way here. Impressive. Very impressive. I see all that training was not in vain. You old scumbag, playing your games. You think we don't know it's a trap? <laughs> We're ready for anything. Oh, of course it's a trap. Not for you though, my darling. Octavia, Rigondo, you've surpassed all my expectations. I can't help but feel pride in such students. I speak to you now not as slaves. No, you are deserving of your freedom. You've proven I can speak to you as equals. I invite you to become proper members of the Technic League. You will become my left and right hands, with which I will masturbate simultaneously. You could have all the things the, the Shabby Baron could never offer you. Money, slaves, power, access to secret knowledges, uh, knowledge and powerful artifacts. We require just one small entry fee. The wizard points at you. His head. Valerie's turn, eyes turn icy. She puts her hand on her weapon, looking at Octavia and Regongar silently, waiting for their answer. Um... Whoa, that's one thing I wasn't ready for. But listen up, you old piece of shit. Do you take us for blameless idiots here? You think we got through all that your training and didn't learn the most important lessons? He looks, looks at Octavia. Um... Oh. Lesson one. Never trust Maestro Janush in anything. Lesson two. Hate Maestro Janush with all your heart. Enough talk, old teacher. We had to pass our final exam. Okay, that was largely unnecessary, but thank you. Alright, uh, well, I think we might as well just go for Maestro Janush right off the bat. And of course, uh, actually, you know what, Fabrosi, can you intercept the fighter before he gets in too close and all that jazz? And let's summon some undead. Uh, Lindsay, if you can maybe do a fast nate just in case. And what else? You've got your orders. Sure. Uh, Valerie's good too. Ragongar, let's have you maybe do a thing to hmm, help us out here. Do you have haste? You do. All right, let's do a haste on Fabrosi, sure. And see how this all pans out. Fantastic, Octavia. Oh, and Octavia is dying, so that's not great. Yeah, okay. Well, we fascinated one of the archers. Um, Harem, if you can maybe heal up Octavia, that would be great, thank you. Sure, moderate wounds mass. I guess we might as well. Sure. Centered on Octavia, and heal everyone. Thank you. Oh, I guess he wasn't done with his, um, summoning of the, uh, skeletons, right? What the fuck, Harem? Dude, you're too eager! You're an eager beaver! But, sure, I guess we might as well kill that guy. Fantastic. Harem? Just in case, can you please maybe, I don't know, uh, summon the undead now? And I think he's casting slow, so that's unfortunate. Alright, uh, why don't we all go for this one, for Rosi, go for Master Janush. And I think we're good otherwise. Just don't attack the one that's been fascinated, please. Fantastic! Bitch be going down! Let's do this, ass nuts. Eat shit, dickhole. This shit hurled you. Wait, what about the other one? He's moonwalking out of here. Don't let him escape. It burns. Oh. I guess the archer still remains. Wow. He fucked off without the archer. Fantastic. Um. Okay, well, how do we help the, uh. How do we help the slaves? Um. I always forget his voice. Um, I just did it too. Crap. Uh, what are you waiting for? He's getting away. 
We'll catch him. We just need to set those poor people free first. No, don't. We don't. Forget them. Uh, can't you see the scum's getting away? Rick, we can't leave them. We used to be slaves too. And we freed ourselves. Octavia, we owe nothing to these people. Yeah, Octavia's right, Rigongar. You didn't free yourselves of your own, on your own, remember? These people need our help. Or chaotic evil, Rigongar's right, Octavia. The death of these people is on Janusha's conscious, not ours. If we let them go now, how many more souls will he destroy? Um... I think... I think they might come to regret the death of, of the, uh, the people, so I guess we'll try to go save them. Sure. Janush. Ah, damn it, fine. Let him roll himself back to Numeria. Palestria is not blind. He'll get his uh, someday. Enough chatting, then. Let's pull these idiots out of the fire. I love you! After giving Rigongar a quick hug, Octavia rushes to help the chain slaves. Um, are they free now? Or are they still fucked? How do we save them? I say as I take the time to, uh, loot through the, uh, bodies of my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Jade, I'll take all that stuff. Thank you. Um, do I need to do something to save them? Do I need to, like, maybe cast some kind of, like, snowball? Or have they been saved, essentially? How do we save them? Oh, there we go. We have to go talk to them, I guess. Sure. Wait, so how many of them are there? That's three. Uh, is there another one here? Oh, there we go. Is that the last one? Hey, we did it! We three. saved them! Fantastic. Uh, are you guys good? Freedom. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. I guess we're good now? Yes! Son of a bitch. Hey you, stop. Damn that scum, he's gone. Rigongar kicks the door frame, frustrated, and spits on the floor. It's alright, we'll settle the score later. No, we won't. It's over. We'll never see him again. He knows we're stronger now. He won't risk crossing us again. But Reg, that's wonderful. Do you realize what you just said? He is afraid of us now. The great Maestro Janush just ran away from us uh, with his tail between his legs. He's running back to the farthest corner of Numeria to sit and hide for the rest of his life, afraid we'll come after him. The annoyance in Rigongar's face slowly fades into a contented grin. Haha, <laughs> hmm, you're right. That piece of shit's going to see us in his nightmares for the rest of his life. Fantastic. Oh, shit, I didn't loot the rest of the uh, place though. Well, well, what are we here? Octavia flips through the pages of one of his books. Reg, take a look at this. And we found Maestro Janush's key. What is this? Oh, my Calestria's tits. This is... Mm, found something interesting here. The Maestro was in such a hurry to leave that... Uh, leave that he left something pretty interesting behind. Uh, what did you find? Octavia triumphantly points at a page with, of a thick volume. These are Maestro's... The, uh, these are the uh, Maestro's uh, ledges. All is accounting for the last... Uh, let's see. 10, 20... Yeah, for the last uh, 30 years. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in these pages is me and Octavia. When we were bought, how, for how much? From where? Maybe even from whom? I'm not all that interested in my tribe, really. I already know who they are, piles of shit who sell their children to slavery. But it might be interesting uh, to pay them a visit. Maybe spit into their faces personally. It'll take some time to make sense of the ledger. We may not find anything, or we may find something and regret ever looking. But I still want to know the truth. I want to know who I... I want to understand who I am and where I come from, and why I take uh, dumps in such, like, odd-shaped poops. It's like, fucking star-shaped sometimes. I don't understand. Is my anus star-shaped? I don't get it, but uh, anyways. Alright, so... You failed? Yay, we did it! <laughs> Got it in the end. Uh, gears rule. Hold on, let me see what I just picked up. Uh, newest to oldest. Alright, so, Gears Rule. The Nanites? I'm sorry, what? Holding the form of a mechanical scorpion, this object is really a cluster of autonomous, uh, Nanites. Extracts of the soul 
and abilities of Android Gears, combined with portions of his familiar. When placed on a character's wrist, this item merges with the character's flesh, appearing as a faintly glowing tattoo and granting the granting abilities to its owners. The nanites inside the item provide the wearer with multiple abilities. For Mela, owner gets a plus one bonus to all, all attack rolls with bombs. Oh! I think this would be good for um, Jubilos then. Hope, uh, owner gains a plus two bonus saving throw against mind affecting um, death, paralysis, disease, stun, poison effects, and resists fatigue for eight hours past the usual limit. Ooh! At level 20, the owner becomes immune to fatigue and exhaustion. Whoa! Catalyst, owner's bombs deal additional uh, dice of damage as if they were an alchemist level uh, two levels higher. The owner saves uh, DCs are increased by one. Focusing Surge. Once per day, as a free action, the owner can activate the nanites inside the item for five rounds, gaining fast healing five, um, as well as immunity to poison, death effects, paralysis, stun, disease, and the effects of targeted bomb admixture extract. At level 16, uh, the duration of Focusing Surge increases to 10 rounds. Damn! Any uh, drawbacks to this or no? I th figured that with, with something this powerful, it would uh, be a cursed item, but maybe not. Old technically letter, Maestro Jan Janosh, the problem, problem is finally solved, and we have an incident report and all damages sustained by our organization. The company of Technomancers and their robotic escort deployed at your command have finally eliminated this nuisance. I regret to inform you that very few of our men have survived the assault. The Myrmidon and lower class robots have been reduced to parts and only one of the, our uh, two precious annihilators is still in service, although heavily damaged and beyond our capabilities to repair. At least, the case of this disaster on Numeria is finally closed for good, and the complete reports will be sent to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, I can shed some light on the main lines of inquiry at play here. For the moment, this seems to have been the work of a small group of powerful and well-organized individuals, referred to as the Five Disasters until uh, further information is recovered. One android, unregistered, with four arms and heavily customized cyberware. What the fuck's up with all this technical, uh, talk? Do you like robots? I mean, I know golems exist, but I thought they were all, like, magical and shit. Um, so what? Do robots exist in this world too? Because... Cyberware. Wow. Interesting. Never thought I would c come across that word in this game, but anyways. Uh, which is what allowed it to cause such heavy damage with crippling and often fatal explosives. We have not been able to repair it and put it to use. All that we have been able to extract is a chunk of strange nanite cloud that settles into... Oh, that's the uh, gears rule, I guess. Uh, that settles into a tangible form and some largely corrupt data. For now, our restoration efforts have only succeeded in extracting a self-identification of gears and several recurring names. Eloniel, Saye, Shindra, Elf... Elfrida, Max, Bailey, and Sandali. We are hopeful that the names of the disasters are among them, as this is the only promising start of our investigation. What seemed to be a female angel, possessing wings and the powerful Holy Aura, who greatly delayed the execution of the disasters through her sustained curative powers. With her support, the disasters seemed to heal faster than they could be damaged, and with each heal, one of our men seemed to suffer a backlash and spontaneously combust. A female devil, devil or similar beast, horns, tails, small fangs, point, uh, extremely nimble. She was the last to fall, even though her damage output did not seem to uh, match that of her peers. She seemed untouchable until the Annihilator obliterated the general region she was last seen in. A human female with, with uh, very strange powers, attacking our troops with the combination of a bow and mysterious singing. She seemed to have caused sporadic mutations and a burst of aggression in her allies during battle. No traces of her or mutations remained afterwards, though we are still investigating. The last case is quite unusual and resists easy classification. An elven male or possibly half-elf in appearance, he threw himself into the fray, drooling with rage and unleashing a storm of steel and lead with a blade of a uh, blade and a handgun. Between two assaults, the android scratched him and he changed into a massive six-armed creature made of water, wreaking havoc among our ranks with claws, fangs, and weapons. There is clearly still much to investigate. The aforementioned disasters seem to be behind the deaths of our uh, agents that led to the end of our activity at the Scar of the Spider on the Feldale side, forcing us to return to our headquarters at Starfall. Their true intentions and the motivation behind their hostilities are still unknown, 
Our teams have always been assaulted. Uh, have always been assaulted without a word. Despite this hard blow, you will be happy to know that our activity in Numeria should have been resumed by the time this uh, message will have reached you. Kalana. Why does that name sound familiar? Hmm. P.S. I attached this uh, letter, a box containing the remains of the android. The nanites take form and fuse, but seem practically inert and unresponsive to our expert and analysis uh, machines. Maybe you can find some use for them. Interesting. So I wonder if that's going to uh, come into play later on, or if it's just the backstory for the um, strange uh, nanite scorpion thing. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm assuming there's nothing more to check. Sorry, I'm just doing another scan for items and whatnot, since I still can't use my keyboard for whatever fucking reason. Really sorry about that. Oh, we discovered something. Oh my god, we discovered more stuff? Oh, come on. Do I have to read through Maestro Janusha's uh, uh, journal too? I guess we might as well. Uh, sure. So, let me just see his journal. Okay. And what's this uh, wand? Wand of echolocation. Giving you blind sight to a range of 40 feet. Cool. Okay, this is a fair bit to read, but I'll just read through this and then we can um, start up next episode um, outside of this place or whatever. So, 15 slaves have just been delivered from Ustalav. I made an order for 40. More than half a, uh, more than a half died on the way, and the rest came with some sort of disease. I sent them to the lab. They weren't good for anything else anyway. We had to change barracks to get rid of the disease. Burned the old one to the ground, along with the slaves that remained there. I doubled my order for the uh, for new ones. Delivery is expected to arrive by spring. Worthless, stupid dreams. I've done the same wench as before, all night long, promising me a crown and a throne in exchange for some piece of garbage from the stolen lands. The throne's location and the kind of crown, she never mentioned. I need to prepare some magic protections. Interesting. I wonder if that's the uh, nymph lady uh, talking to him. Hmm. The agents have dragged back the slaves who fled two days ago. I made an example of them, whipped them to death in front of the others. Now that to change the locks and shackles. That fake keeps bargaining. Now she's offering me all the secrets of the first world in, in exchange for some artifact. So she wants me to go all the way to the middle of nowhere to search for n no one knows what? Just who does she think I am? I'm tired. Not a single night passes without her coming. But I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll have a use for this wench after all. Now Nyrissa comes uh, even during my midday naps. She's so impatient. Regarding and Octavia found themselves a new owner. I should have guessed that it would end like that. So many years and so much effort. Wasted. I have to do everything myself. I'm going crazy. Nyrissa keeps hiding her face from me. For the third night in a row, I'm trying to sleep both at night during and during the day. I need to sign. I need some sign to know uh, that what I'm doing, that I'm doing what I'm supposed to. It's dusty here, hard to breathe, but that doesn't matter. There's been no technique league hot out in the history as useful as this, this one. It was lucky that some of our people had previously arranged for a safe spot within the stolen lands. There could be no better place for us to set up an ambush. It should be easy to live this bear now. My dream was short. But I got what I'd been craving. A light touch from Mistress Nyrissa was all I needed. She gave me a chance. My head won't touch pillow again until I kill a Baron. That filth will pay for all he's done, or my life is over. I will not disappoint my mistress. Interesting. So I guess she's been able to um control him. Because he started out uh, being all bothered and, uh, by her, and then he's been like craving her touch and shit. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well, um... I guess we're done here then? I'm hoping I haven't missed anything. Uh, don't need to steal that shit. I'm gonna leave the shitty ass crossbow here and move on with my life. Fantastic. <sighs> Alright, um, well, I think now would be a good time to end the episode and go fix my keyboard issue because I don't know what's happening with it. In any case, uh, I do apologize for that, um, but we'll be back in our next episode, hopefully with my keyboard fixed, and I think we'll start, hmm, depending on how long it would take for the teleportation circles to uh, get completed, um, I might actually... Oh, zero days. Okay, so I guess we might as well just head to a Varnhold, wait for the uh, teleportation circle to be complete, and then, um... Oh, I guess this might be concluded uh, next day, too. So... 
Hmm. I guess what I'll do is, since I'm kind of expecting this to um, take a couple of tries to uh, succeed or triumph, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just start walking towards um, Varnhold now in between episodes, and then we'll start the episode off there. Yeah. And then hopefully by that time, uh, the teleportation circle will be complete. Although, um, we're building Vordekai's tower, so I don't know if that's going to take longer or if it's also the five days uh, requirement. But I guess we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!